if you guys watched my last video, you know that I'm going to Tomorrowland this weekend. Actually, I'm going tomorrow. I fly out tomorrow to Paris, and I thought it would be fun just to kind of like show you guys what I packed. Um, because this is my first time going to Tomorrowland and traveling to a different country and having to pack for camping and being in Europe for a week and a half. Like, I had to strategically pack to make sure I could bring everything. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So this is my 28 inch hard shell luggage. It's broken up into two sections. For this side, I mainly just have all my clothes in it. And because I didn't pack enough on this side, I had to kind of stack some other stuff on top of it. So I have like my camelback and a couple of um, items that I have put in Ziploc bags to kind of hold it down and keep everything from falling apart when it's upright. So you guys know I like to wear stickers on my face. That's like my thing. So these are my stickers have a variety because I don't plan what I'm gonna do to my face. I just kind of like wing it when I get there, so I have plenty of options. Cute. I know you guys have probably experienced this. Um, a lot of times, like I'll spend all this time picking out my rave outfit and like putting outfits together, and then when I get to the event a few days later, I totally forgot what outfit goes with what. So this time, I put the main components of my rave outfits in the little sandwich bags. So when I get there, I just pick one day and pull it out. These are my kitty ears. Um, in this compartment, the one that like closes, I put everything else, and this stuff is more loose-fitting, so it's really convenient that you have this, because or else all of these miscellaneous things would just go all over the place while it's upright. Rave shoes, um, sandals for camping. I have a yoga mat in here. I really like to stretch every day, and I feel like I'll be miserable if I'm out in Europe for a week and a half and don't stretch. And since I was bringing this huge luggage, it fit. I have some friends who wanted me to bring some American food and stuff for them, so I have that in there. These are the Oreos I'm bringing to France for my friend. Apparently, they only have a few flavors in France, so I was like, okay, I'll hook you up. Yeah, look at it. We have cinnamon bun and red velvet cheesecake and lemon. I am literally the best friend ever. So I've traveled a lot for festivals, and this is all stuff, like I've gone through security that has gotten me searched. So I put it all in a nice little bag for them. If it goes off again, um, it, I'm gonna put it right on top and it's right there for them to check. And they don't have to go sitting through all my luggage and making a mess. So all of that is compartmentalized. So in this carry-on, I have all of my hygiene stuff. I have really bad skin, and so if I don't stay true to my regimen, I will definitely regret it. So I have to carry that with me at all times. I have my makeup bag. Luckily, I'm not super high maintenance like some people, and I have like a pretty small makeup bag. This is all of my camera equipment. I can't part ways with hard drive for backing up stuff. This is what I use when I'm traveling and at the airport, the fanny pack. So it just has like everything I need. It has like my wallet, my inhaler, and my passport. And it fit, fits really nicely in here. I don't have to carry it around once I've gotten past security and everything. And then I forgot the most important thing of all, I have to have with me at all times, so it's in my fanny pack. My Tomorrowland bracelet, our Tomorrowland bracelet. social media. I'll be posting pictures and videos on my profile in real time. So yeah, you can do that if you want to keep up to date with me. My handle is at underscore cotton candy kid for Twitter and Instagram. And that's it. Thanks again for watching. Peace out Girl Scouts. I really hope we don't have to go up many stairs in Europe. Dude, it's like a winding <laughs> staircase too. It's good practice. <laughs>